Seven passive income ideas that can help you generate an additional $1,000 a month. Hey, this is Ping Jun here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you seven things that I have done that helps me get at least $1,000 a month very conservatively, and what you need to be doing if you wanna build up these passive income streams. Now, before I even begin, the first thing I wanna do is I need to define what the term passive income really means. Because every single time in previous videos, whenever I talk about the term passive income, sometimes I'll have people saying, hey bro, that's retarded, that's not passive because that actually required work. Let, let, let's hold, let, let's pause for a second. So, do you actually think, for those of you that think like, Passive income is just what, you don't have to do anything and you just hold hands, stand in a circle, sing kumbaya and income actually happens. The only way to actually build up a true passive income source is either by you investing one of these two things. It's either by investing money, a huge capital or some sort of capital upfront so that with that capital it gives you returns like stocks where you get dividends or property where you get cash flow and rental or number two you start off by investing your time so the only way to get passive income so let's get this definition right first of getting passive income is by building up this asset so that this asset gives you passive returns over time and the only way to acquire this initial asset is by first investing your money or your time. But for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna be talking about passive income by putting in money or capital. I'm talking about how do you actually build something up even if you have no money right now. So if you've got no money right now, your only other option is to build up something utilizing your time. And with that initial time, that is when it compounds over time to build you these passive income revenue streams. Does that make sense? So let's begin with number one. Number one that has served me really well, number one is books. These books has generated me millions of dollars. I want to show you how you can do this part here differently. So most of the time when people think about books, they think about creating a book and selling it on some bookstore or listing on Amazon. And while that might work, we need to understand that chances are, if you write a book, your book is not going to be the next Harry Potter. Chances are it's not going to be the next Fifty Shades of Grey or a next Rich Dad, Poor Dad. What books are great for? Number one, sure, it helps with branding and positioning. But number two, it is used as a great way to pull people into your sales process, into the thing that you actually want to sell. And when people buy that book, that is where you are now building a list, you're now having upsells, you're now be, are able to pull people into your world so that that book can act as a passive income stream for you in terms of your sales as well as your lead gen. Now, that being said, I know what some of you are thinking. Well, Ping Jun, first of all, writing a book seems really hard. Um, I'm not a writer. Look, I get it. But what if I told you that the books that I have written, guess what? I got professionals to write it based on my story, my voice, my message. So guess what, here's the, here's the trick. If you're like me and you're not good at writing, speak your book, that's what I did. So for my books, what I did was pretend that you are about to give the most important speech or keynote in your life around that specific topic. So for example, let's take this book, Content Multiplier Formula. I was speaking at this event at Funnel Hacking Live. At this event, when I delivered that keynote, you know what I did? I took that presentation, I passed it to a writer from my team, and you can outsource this. There's a lot of freelancers out there that's good at what they do and do and write books for a living, and pass this training over to them. So what can you do to build this first initial stream? I don't want you to just go through these seven streams, but I want to go deep as well, with detail, okay? What you need to do is, shoot a video like this one, stand in front of a camera, but before you actually do that, just imagine that that presentation could be one of the most important presentations in your life, and you actually teach in front of the camera with your story, with your framework, with your strategies in, in one hour, in 90 minutes, in two hours, and you pass it to somebody that actually writes books for a living. Now guess what? 
This book, even though it's ghostwritten, is still based upon your story, your teachings, your principles, that is congruent with who you are as well as your personality, okay? So that's number one. Books are a great way for positioning, for branding, for getting you leads, as well as getting you passive income over time. Number two is building up a YouTube channel. Guess what? That's what I'm doing right now. And when I say YouTube channel, there's a few different ways to generate passive income from it. Number one, you could be and take that journey of getting millions of views and monetize through ad revenue. That's one, which is not the route that I'm taking. Or you could utilize that as a way to get visibility so that you can take those views and funnel people off somewhere. Where do you send them to? Well, it depends. So for example, a video like this one, because I'm constantly talking about online marketing, I am sending people to my products, my courses, my membership sites, or sometimes I'm sending people off to different softwares and tools that I might be using in order to generate an affiliate income, which is, by the way, what you need to be doing in order to generate passive income. So number two is think about starting a YouTube channel and delivering value either and monetized by either ad revenue from the views where YouTube runs ads and gives you a percentage of how much they make or to have links and that's going to bring me to my third point to either your third your own products or somebody else's products in order to generate affiliate commissions in return and that brings us to number three okay number three the third way to generate passive income every single month is affiliate marketing. Number three is about creating and promoting an affiliate product. Now this could be a physical product that is sold on Amazon. Their free affiliate program is called Amazon Associates where you can literally promote anything that is sold on Amazon where they will pay you from about four to eight percent on average now recently they changed the price structure a bit some is a little bit worse off right now uh, some remain the same but approximately four to eight percent promoting any type of physical product that is sold on amazon associates okay so amazon associates is the affiliate program you can sign up for that and guess what now as you are creating content on facebook youtube instagram every time you create content you are now sending people off to programs like Amazon for physical products, programs like Clickbank for digital products, or this could be specific e-commerce products or even softwares or services in your specific niche. So let's say you could be in gardening. All you need to do is type in on Google, type in gardening affiliate program and see for yourself all of the different results for gardening affiliate program and start seeing and getting ideas on, oh wow, there's a course on say bonsai gardening, somebody else created that you could be promoting in order to get a commission. So this could be physical products, this could be a service. All you need to do is look out for the different programs in your niche that has got an affiliate offer attached to it so that you can start promoting somebody else's product in order to generate affiliate commissions. So that's number three. Number four is selling your own online course. And this is something that people have told me in the past. They said, you know what, Pingjin, selling a course is not a real business. For one, let's take a look at definition of real businesses. A lot of times people think that a real business, you gotta be in the brick and mortar business. You gotta be in retail. You gotta have a physical store, which to me is insane. Do you know why? If you take a look at what's happening in the world right now, what are the types of businesses in the middle of this coronavirus crisis that is being affected the most? It's the real businesses. It's retail, it's brick and mortar, it's the people in the malls that's being hit the hardest. So to me, if you think about an online course, it's got the highest margins, there's no cost, fulfillment is just like that. And that is the reason why even like in a time like this, this is like what, day 35 of being quarantined. You can see my hair is all over the place right now. And my business is not affected, why? Because my business is heavily focused on digital. And in fact, this month is one of our best months because all the more consumption and attention online is pretty much an all-time high when everyone is stuck at home. So that's number four. Now think about this. 
If you wanna sell an online course, the way to be successful is not about information because information is freely available anywhere. The reason why people pay you money is number one, you are going to significantly shortcut and compress their learning curve so that they don't have to go through the 10 years, the five years, the three years that you went through. But the key here is helping them get results. And that brings us to number five. Number five is membership sites, something that is recurring in nature. For number five, this could be your own product that you create where people have to pay a recurring fee every single month to be part of that program. Or remember affiliate marketing, you could be promoting somebody else's product that could be recurring. This could be a software that's recurring. This could be supplements that's recurring. This could be a membership site that's recurring where they would pay you a commission as long as this person continues being a recurring member. So just think of it as number one, can you have some sort of pain of disconnect? Can you imagine if right now, Facebook started charging $1 every single month. If you don't, can, you don't pay this $1 a month or $10 a month, you will lose access and all of the images and videos that you've ever uploaded. Would you pay this $1 or $10 a month? Most people would, okay? That's pain of disconnect. Can you have some sort of pain of disconnect where if they stop paying, they will lose their data, they will lose access and it's painful to lose that access. Can you think about the community? Now I know that I definitely, when, when I was a hardcore gamer and I was paying, playing World of Warcraft every single month, I was paying like 15 bucks a month. At, at one point in time, I wasn't really playing the game anymore. I would still be paying every single month because of the community. I was in like a guild and an alliance and I felt like I didn't want to cancel because I would lose that connection with my online friends. Number six is e-commerce. Uh, you already know this, but if you take a look at the businesses that is not just surviving but thriving right now, they're e-commerce businesses. Right now, the whole virus has actually proved for a lot of different businesses, their business model is currently broken. And right now, the new norm is that if a business is not able to pivot online or have some sort of sales process online, they're being hit the hardest. And right now, what if you could develop this skill of selling products online? Now, this could be by you sourcing products and delivering it via Amazon, or this could be you setting up a simple Shopify store to sell merchandise, to sell jewelry, to sell clothing. But Shopify, as well as many other sites, has actually made it super simple to deliver goods, to track it for fulfillment, to sell it, as well as a setup without being a programmer or coder. So that's number six. So that would be number six which is e-commerce where you utilize one of these different platforms to build up an online store so that you can start selling products to build a passive income stream. But before I go on to number seven and mention my favorite and show you how it's that's done, by the way, let me know in the comment box below what your favorite one is so far. And as always, make sure you hit the like button for more videos like this one. It does help the channel out a little bit. Number seven is automated webinars. That's right, webinars or presentations that could run every hour on the hour or once a day where it's basically a presentation, a pitch that you created once in your life. Um, it could be a 90 minute pitch where you actually teach and offer your audience amazing value and at the end of it all, offer something for sale. It's passive because the sales process works for you 24 7 as well right we got this could sale a sale could come in when you're asleep at 3 in the morning or 7 at, at night when you're out with friends and family well the world's on lockdown right now depending on when you're watching this automated webinars is a great way where you create a presentation where you tell your story you give them amazing value so that even if they don't buy they felt like oh wow I got great content from that webinar and at the end of the webinar offer something that the audience can actually invest in if they want to learn more or discover more about you as well as your process. That would be number seven, automated webinars. Um, let me know in the comment box below which one you like the most. Um, I hope you like all of the different ideas, but the most importantly, the important thing guys is to actually just start with one, implement and focus until 
you actually succeed and start getting results. Until then, make sure you watch my other videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in the future videos.